prophecy, revelation of the great moment. Calm down. A few days before the warning, blessed and praised be you, God Almighty Father, who reveals the secrets of your heart and the wonders of your kingdom to the little ones, to the humble, to the simple. And instead you hide these things from the great, the learned, and the proud. Yes, Holy Father, this is what pleases you. I ask you, Lord, to make me small, simple, humble, innocent, surrendered to your divine will, and dependent on your divine providence. I desire to enter and remain always in your presence, in your light, majesty, and glory. I desire to do everything for you, through you, in you, and with you, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Archangels, the Angels, the Saints, the Martyrs, and with the Child Jesus. I wish to live my life in adoration and reparation for this humanity that has reached the maximum of offenses against our God. For a long time, the Lord has told me that the time of purification is at hand. He has spoken to me about the illumination of consciences, about which I have made a video. He has also spoken to me in messages about the destruction of two-thirds of humanity, confirming the prophecy of Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. In all the apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we are asked to pray the Holy Rosary, conversion, and we are warned of a great punishment in humanity if it doesn't repent. The Virgin Mary also predicts in Garabandal that humanity will receive a warning before the punishment. I am not the only one who has received this type of messages regarding the end times. But with respect to the dates, I can only say that we are very close. I repeat what Jesus tells us in Matthew 24, verse 36, But of that day and hour no one knows, not even the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. The Lord has told me that I must live each day as if it were the last day of my life. And for this reason, we must always be prepared in a state of grace. Some seers have revealed dates, but the Lord assures me that no one can predict those dates. For to God a day can be like a year, and a year can be like a thousand years. Furthermore, God warns us of the imminence of His justice, so that we repent. And thus the Lord in His mercy has a moment for the execution of His justice, which is not measured in the clock of time. Most religious people focus their spirituality on messages and prophecies and are in expectation of something great. But what many are doing is satisfying their curiosity and not really repenting, nor preparing for the day of the Lord. The mission of the work of God Apostolate is to speak of the reality of these times, emphasizing God's call to conversion, prayer, worship, and reparation. We must all unite as one spirit, calling for repentance, conversion, and salvation of all mankind. In the order that God manifests himself before the great chastisement, he will give us warnings. Among them, we have received the pandemic, although the world remains the same. Then will come the elimination of the consciences. And finally will come the three days of darkness, the great chastisement. Regarding the elimination of the consciences, it is something that will happen inside the soul of every human being. It is an encounter with God in which the soul will see in a few moments its whole life. We'll see the love of God and we'll also see all its sins their consequences and their future punishments. 
It will be an opportunity from the mercy of God who does not want the condemnation of souls, but their conversion before death. And there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth, Luke 13, verse 28, because God's judgments are perfect. His holy word offers us salvation, but also gives us condemnation if we do not comply. The soul that is in mortal sin during the illumination of conscience will feel ashamed of God's judgment. Whoever has turned away from the divine mercy will feel anger and even hatred for God. That is why many will be condemned and even die in the midst of their rebellion. Many will weep for their sins and repent, but many who are in mortal sin will be advised by the demons to continue in their rebellion. What is absolutely certain is that none will escape divine judgment and will recognize that it comes from God. The process of repentance will cause much anguish and many will die in despair. Here will begin the great purification that will soon be followed by great punishments for humanity, including the three days of darkness that have been prophesied in apparitions of the Virgin Mary and by many saints such as Saint Padre Pio. Let us pray, dear brothers and sisters so that the Lord does not find us spiritually asleep, but awake, so that from now on we may be in a state of grace, so that we may join in the divine desire for the salvation of all humanity, so that this hard humanity may be converted and saved, because nothing is impossible for God. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, the work of God. Share on social networks and do not forget to leave your valuable comments. How are you preparing for the day of the Lord? God bless you.